cardio. You know, these guys are all big, strong, athletic heavyweights. Our matchmaker did an excellent job. Jason Martinez is one of the best matchmakers in the business. Not just not just here in Arizona, but he's one of the best matchmakers that 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 we that's in the business. Period. I mean, he he really puts together a great card every single time. He always stacks the card because he knows any experienced matchmaker knows that you're going to lose anywhere from third to half the fights that you make. He always has enough fights to put on a great show. Every rock card, that, I mean, and they're all very well set up, all very evenly matched. There's always a really good mix of, of highly ranked amateurs. Making his way to the Rough Nation cage, Cody East. I'll, I'll, plug, I'll plug Jason again, don't worry. I'll plug, I'll plug you again, Jay. You're the man. You're the man, Jay. I'll plug you again. Making his way to the Rough cage is Cody East. Now, Cody is a big show vet. So this caliber of opponent, this caliber of, you know, tournament, like this is nothing new to him. Okay. And he's coming into this ready. He looks, uh, he looks rejuvenated. Like I said, a big show vet. He's been in there with some really high caliber opponents. I believe he's training out of uh, Jackson Wings in New Mexico. That's still the home of, you know. Jackson Wings, are they? I think I've heard of them. Yeah, a I little think bit. I, I think I've heard of them, they sound familiar. Yeah. I hear they got some good guys out there. Yeah, they got this one, uh, I, something bony. Something, stones, something like that. Uh, I think I'm getting close. <laughs> but uh, this guy right here, He's in our tournament. He's making his way into the cage. Look at him. He looks ready. And his opponent, Mike Quintero. And Mike Quintero on his way to the rough cage. He's a bit like you, old school. He's got that old school mentality. This guy, this guy he, he, he's another one of these guys when you look at him, it's like, you look like a fighter. He, he very much looks like a fighter. That's appropriate music, I feel. Mike Quintero as part of this Road to One heavyweight tournament. I think he's gone through some opponent changes as well. But again, Jason doing his thing, keeping this thing. I mean, he just, I don't know how he does it. I, Especially with heavyweights. I've matched, I've been a matchmaker before for a, for a smaller promotion, and I'll never do it again. <laughs> I'll never you have ever. You've got to be crazy, and to take on, you know, this kind of situation, where you're securing 16, like I said, 16 of the best heavyweights. In the, in the whole country. In the world. So, yeah, some of in the, the world. And securing guys like Indero and East and putting them in your opening round. Yeah. I, there, I, Jason, I could not do your job, homie. Forget that. Now, at weigh-ins, Quintero was very cool, calm, composed, same as East. Both guys, they've been there, done that. This isn't their first rodeo. And I think that is going to make for an even better fight. No trash talk, no heat. Both guys just coming in to do their, handle their business. Secure a contract, move on in the tournament, and hopefully, you know, get some fights in one. I can also outwalk Cody East pretty easily. You can out what? Out walk. The following contest is an opening round bout in the Road to One Heavyweight Tournament. A freestyle fighter. He stands at six feet three inches tall and weighed in at 251 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 13 victories, opposite six defeats. He represents Jackson Wink MMA, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. 
Cody Freight Train East. Opponent awaits and fights out of the red corner. A Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai practitioner. He stands at six feet three inches tall and weighed in officially at 237 and one quarter pounds. His professional record stands at six victories, opposite two defeats, representing Sit Young Tong and New Breed Academy, fighting out of Pico Rivera, California, Mike Quintero! Your referee, Ryan Brueggemann. Mike Quintero and Cody East competing for a chance at some, a one contract. These are some quality, quality heavyweights right here. Like I said, but both these guys, been there, done that. Ryan Brueggemann, our referee, no touch of gloves. Inside leg kick for Quintero. Another inside leg kick for Quintero. But Cody answers with a two-piece. Reaching oh, in on gets the Gets his inside. leg caught. Quintero got his leg caught there for a second. Nice Ooh, leg kick. Ow, ow, that hurt. That was a good leg kick. Now East had, you know, titles uh, on the regional circuit. Quintero landed a really good jab there. Off the leg kick, it kind of landed a really snappy jab. Nice one too from East. Yes. Good feints from both guys. He's floating his jab out there. Good work. It's a mar the mark of a good striker is a good jab. You know, any anybody can throw a big heavy punch overhand, but if you have a really quick snappy jab with speed, that's the mark of a trained of a, of a trained striker. I'm 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 not worried about the guy who's who's gonna knock me out. I'm worried about the guy who has a really good jab. That's the guy I'm worried about. A warning from the ref about the fingers, I believe. Yeah, we've already had that happen earlier tonight. There's Maybe. a mark under the right eye of Cody East already. Nice. Oh. Quintero it, really. Oh, Cody, Cody with a nice punch there. Hit him really good. Oh, there's a cut open on Quintero's face. I hope that wasn't due to, a, to, a, to an eye poke or anything. Really nice leg kick. Good timing. Cody East was in some trouble there. Gets out of it. Step in elbow. Missed by a mile. Looked like he might have stung him there for a second. Nice jab. Oh, good jab. And Cody comes back with a flurry. Good inside strikes here. Yep. Oh, oh, he's hooked. He's hooked in the center of the cage and backing Cody up. Well, Quintero's Ken really playing the long game right now. Nice he, he, he's not over committing. He's not over committing. He's using his jabs. He's, he, he, he's setting up good, good uh, two-piece combinations. Um, but, Cody's doing, but Cody's doing a great job countering. Whenever Quintero throws the kick, Cody's answering with a punch. And then see, there's the kick again from Quintero. And a good jab. I'm a fan of Quintero's jab. It's really working for him here in this fight. Oh. Yeah, well, he's circling into can... Quintero's power as well. Yep. East comes in, but good deep, good defense right there. Now I'm noticing that uh, Cody's really just planting his feet. Now the jab, see, Quintero with that jab. There's been a story of the fight so far is, is Quintero's jab. Well, see, Cody's oh, really nice combination there. Cody, Cody East coming forward with a two-piece and a leg kick. Well, Cody's wearing it, buddy. Cody's wearing that jab prominently on his face. Cody is throwing a lot of power into everything. Oh! 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 That's, that's it. Oh my God! And wow! 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 Cantero <laughs> caught it! Wow! That was disgusting. Oh, get Cody, get Cody. Oh my God, that was disgusting. I love it, I love it. Incredible performance, like the whole performance.
from Quintero, from start to finish, was there, beautiful. There, there's, we, we got the replay right here. They're up against the cage. Quintero with the range, and he, as Look soon as he heard boom, him, boom, boom, hammer boom. fist. Oh, man. See, as soon as Quintero had him hurt, he knew he had him hurt. He just put that pressure on him, just was on him immediately. Quintero's moving on, buddy. Quintero moves on in our road to one FC heavyweight tournament. My goodness, my pen keeps hitting this microphone. He had a very, very, very sexy jab. And when he heard him, because he heard him multiple times throughout the, the fight. Uh, honestly, the jab won him the fight. I think the jab won him the fight. He wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have been able to land those other shots if it wasn't for his jab, which was working for him constantly. The jab, I think, was the single most effective thing that, that was happening in that fight. Cody landed some really good counters. He was being, he, and he was being pretty effective there for a little bit. Um, but, man, Quintero caught him and just starched him like a baked potato and was just on him. Once he realized that the jab was having a great effect, he literally did not give up the center. He didn't pull away and give Cody a chance to do anything. No, I was very, I was, I was very impressed with that. Yeah. The, mar the mark of a good striker is not their power punch. The mark of a good striker is their jab. That's and he's just the quietest, sweetest heavyweight at weigh-ins. He was just... You know, he was zoned in, you could tell, but when I, you know, was talking to him, very soft-spoken, you know. But trust me, he can really Referee Ryan head Brueggemann hosts the bout at four minutes, four seconds of the opening round due to excessive strikes. Advancing in the Road to One Heavyweight Tournament, your winner by technical knockout, Mike Quintero! Again, he moves on in the Road to One tournament. What, what a good fight.